ou embaixo da terra, ou aqui. Olha. Olha, porra, presta atenção. Tá vendo? Eu lutei contra a cocaína minha vida inteira. O que eu não sabia é que ela ia tirar o meu filho de mim. I would love to know what you knew about Pedro before you started playing him. You know, I knew basically nothing, almost nothing. Because during his life and during his presence in the city where I grew up, Rio de Janeiro, I was a kid. So while he was active, I was just a small, small kid. I hadn't heard of his story. But from the beginning, when Breno, the director, invited me to play this character and told me his real story, I was really impressed. And I remember googling him at the time and uh, seeing that there wasn't a lot about him out to the public, you know, and the news that we saw were just superficial. They were not in-depth analysis. So when I started researching his story and the story of his family, I was really interested in telling this story. Because back in the day, what came to the public was his life as a criminal, but not his interesting relationship with his father. And I was really interested in telling this powerful story. Ultimately, what you see is the story of a father who loves his son so much. And I would love to know how you, Flavio, was able to connect to what Victor is going through throughout the series. From the get-go, when Breno told me this story, when he was just telling me what was going to happen, he always made it clear that this was a love story a story about the relationship between a son and a father. We're talking about emotional, personal relationships. So yes, we do have a lot of action and drama and comedy, but the focus that we have here and that Breno brings to the table is this sensitive look on human relationships, specifically a son and father relationship. So yes, it is a love story for sure. Mm -hmm. And it is a troublesome love story but that's how relationships are. Now, you were asking me about my connection to Victor. To do that, I was trying to understand how this destructive love between father and kid play out. There's a lot of love, there's a lot of, a lot of conflict, but what we see throughout the show is that this bond is unbreakable. The love that they feel is unbreakable, even when they are at polar opposites. We have son to one side and father to the other side. They are fighting a war, but they still love each other, regardless of anything that might go on. We see it throughout the show. We have fights, we have arguments, but Gabriel and I, with Breno's blessing, always try to make sure we communicated that affection and love were behind everything that they were going through because they wanted to be close to each other. So to compose music for a series like this, I would love to know how you start the process with something like that, because, you know, obviously you want to set the mood for what you, you know, what you're about to experience. Talk to me about that. Okay, I'm going to start doing a, a little compare, uh, comparing to something else. Because in a way, in, in a small way, it reminds me a little bit of the, this film that I did called City of God that you may know about it. And the difference, the main difference is that the approach for City of God was something more raw, more was a score that was supposed not to, to call attention for itself. And on this project, differently from City of God, because it's in a way set on the same kind of uh, uh, place, on the favelas, on the drugs and everything, we decided that we should go to a more emotional, emotional score. How do you balance the two in, you know, making sure that 
the story is not only you know compelling to the viewer but also stays very true to what victor would have wanted fiction has to help it has to help the story it has to support it but i would never change the main facts and the reality of what happened what i mean the most surreal parts of dom that you say i can't believe that happened those actually happened were like <laughs> the most surreal surreal shots and scenes those actually happened the other ones are just there so the story makes sense Você viu a quantidade de droga que tá entrando? E tá só começando. Você tá caindo num abismo. Se eu quiser morrer, eu morro. É um marginal. Qual é mesmo o seu nome? Pedro Dom, meu nome.